Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of readily available makeup from the Dollar Tree. These are just products that I feel are generally, you know, of course there's exceptions. Someone might, you might have a particularly bad Dollar Tree, but generally speaking, these are going to be things that you can always find at Dollar Tree or find more often than other things. So I do like to do these every now and again because although it is fun to find new stuff and the fun stuff and all the gems and the brand name stuff, I try to keep in mind that a lot of you already have a bunch of this readily available makeup from the Dollar Tree in your collection and you might just want to do something new and fun with it. So I do like to do these types of videos every now and again. So if you are a returning Dollar Diva, thank you so much for coming on back for another video. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I love to do a lot of Dollar Store and Dollar Tree oriented makeup and shopping content. So if that is your thing, you're definitely in the right place. I do hope you'll become part of our Dollar Diva community here on YouTube. And I will have some other content very similar to this. I'll have the other videos I've done exactly like this like readily available Dollar Tree makeup videos. I'll have those linked down below, but I'll also have my Dollar Tree makeup playlist that just has like random Dollar Tree makeup videos. I'll have my Dollar Tree get ready with me playlist um, and also like my Dollar Store makeup videos. So I'll have a bunch of stuff down there because um, I think today, today, as I film this, it's the 29th. I have no idea when this video will actually go up, but as I'm filming this, I think it's either the 29th or the 30th is my five year anniversary on YouTube. So I've been at this for quite a while. So if you've been looking for a channel like mine, definitely go binge watch some of my other content down below in the description box after you're done watching this. So yeah, without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. So for my eyebrows today, you can see this is well loved. This is just like the traditional LA Colors eyebrow pencil with a little spoolie like brush on the end. This is medium brown. So this is something that you can really find very easily in Dollar Tree. Of course, Ioni makes a lot of really good eyebrow pencils, but you can't always find them, you know? And so LA Colors has a couple that are pretty readily available that are really very, very good. This is one. I really, really like this. I've had it in dark blonde. I've had it in light brown. I've had it, um, and they have like a black, of course, medium brown. They may even have an Auburn. I'm not 100% sure. I may have seen it on the website before, but yeah, these are, these are really, really good eyebrow pencils in my opinion. I tweezed my eyebrows yesterday for the first time in a little while. And I kind of missed this underneath part here. I haven't really, well, you know, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know, I, I have like nothing for eyebrows, so. So I'm wearing some new earrings today. I just got another sheen order and I bought a couple pairs of earrings for YouTube here because I always wear earrings. And so this is one of my new pairs. I thought they were super cute. I think I have two other pairs that I got as well that you'll see coming up here soon. See, just a really nice effect. Just a very easy pencil to use. Sometimes I don't like when an eye pencil is too creamy because I tend to make a lot of mistakes. This one here has just a, like a nice tug to it. Really, this and then the um, LA Colors, it comes in a two pack and it has the sharpener. You can use it as an eyeliner or an eyebrow pencil. They have like black and dark brown. And I think that's all the colors they have. That's a really great eyebrow pencil as well. This one here has a little bit more color variation. And of course, I like that it comes with the brush. That's a really nice thing, but really, really nice pencil in my opinion. Definitely what I reach for more than the LA Colors ones, and like I said, the Ioni 2 are really what I, they're what I reach for. I don't have any eyebrow pencils that are not from Dollar Tree, other than some stuff I got on Sheen, and bought at Family Dollar and Dollar General. Everything, I don't have a drugstore or a high-end eyebrow pencil in my collection. So now I'm going to clean up my brows. One place that Dollar Tree lacks is the concealer department. They just, there's just not a really good concealer. Um, LA Colors has one that you know is terrible. Take that back. Be Pure makes a couple really good, really decent concealers. Are they going to be like the most full coverage? No, but they're decent. As far as what LA Colors puts out, this is honestly one of my favorite concealers from LA Colors. It's the LA Colors Conceal and Correct. And I'm using this today because I feel like you can almost always find these. They've got green, purple. I've got the peach as well. I'm going to do that, I think, for maybe under my eyes. Um, this one here, as far as readily available stuff go, is what I like to use to clean up my eyebrows. Like I said, Be Pure has a couple really good concealers, but I find that they're not like as easy to find 
So for these types of videos, I like to, some of these things, I really just want to use what the easiest thing to find is, you know. I'm going to go on to my eyelid too. And you'll notice I'm not actually using any primer because there really isn't a readily available eyeshadow primer or face primer at the Dollar Tree. The one I see the most is probably the Be Pure one. But LA Colors, I've got an eyeshadow primer from LA Colors, but it's from like a collection from a couple years ago and I never see it. But this here does a really, really, really nice job for $1.25. I will be showing all of the products today in this video. Um, sometimes when I'm testing new makeup, I know a lot of people are like, I wish you would show the whole process. If I'm sh like, sometimes if I'm testing new makeup and I have, you know, four or five or three or four new items, I like to just show those because the fact of the matter is I do work a full-time job. And so if I can just show the new products or the more, like sometimes if I've only used something once, I'll show it as well. But if it's something I've used a million times, I will kind of skip over that, and um, I do have an, I do have lots of videos where I show you how I do my eyebrows, um, where I, you know, and then how I put on my lashes and stuff like that. So I do have lots of videos where I show you how to do that. It's just, it gets a little redundant for me to do it in every single video, you know, and then it takes me longer to edit, and, um, and then I worry about people that have seen it a lot in my videos. So I do try to balance it out. Sometimes I'll skip those parts. Sometimes I'll show them. It just depends, you know, on the day. But today I am going to be showing all the steps. Now, I might do my lashes offline because I do have a separate lash tutorial that I will have listed down below if you want to see how I put my lashes on. But lashes are kind of a tedious thing to do on camera. So I do try to just do them off camera and then come back. But So that's the rhyme and reason for that. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go to eyeshadow. See, that does a really nice job. So I've got three palettes that I'm going to kind of pull from. Again, very readily available. They're the LA Colors Six Pans. And they're kind of the best quality. Like between these and the 12 pans that LA Colors have, these are the best quality for sure. So let's see. I'm going to kind of do... I think I'm going to go all over my lid. This is the shade. This is the Color Story Night Out. I'm going to go into the shade right here. These, This palette here in particular, the old version of this, when they used to come in the white, the Color Story was completely different. So I'm just going to put this up into my crease, a little bit above. See, those are just really, when they reformulated these, they didn't mess around. My problem with the older ones was that they, they, they were all kind of not really, there was not really a matte or a shimmer. They were just kind of right there in the middle. And then some of these palettes, they really gave us some good shimmers and made the color stories a little bit more. Um, the old ones tend to ha tended to have like a lot of repeat, I feel. These ones here give you a little bit more variation. I mean, look at that. There's really not like hardly any fallout or anything like that. So I think I'm going to go into this shade right here. I'm going to focus this a little bit more on the outer part and up into that crease. Just kind of build up that color a little bit. I don't really have this look completely thought out. I'm just kind of doing it as I go along. So now I'm going to deepen it up with that shade right there. And that's kind of a perfect example. I don't think it's really a shimmer. Actually, it is. It is a shimmer. So scratch that. It's actually a whole lot lighter than in the pan. I'm going to go into something a little bit deeper. So I'm going to go into, this is the Almost Nude palette. I'm going to go into that shade right there. My brush is a little damp because I did clean it, but it can only help. It can't hurt. It's doing the job. It's really blending very nice. It's not like the most pigmented matte in the world. You're just not really going to get that with some of these darker shades in these palettes. But it will do the job. It'll deepen it up and you can build it up just a bit. Like I said, a damp brush helps. Even with mattes. I know we do it for shimmers, but I will use it for mattes if I have to as well. See that? Really, really nice. I'm actually really, really happy with how this is turning out so far. I'm excited to get into some shimmer. I'm going to go into that really bright, shimmery orange. And I'm just going to kind of see what it does. Of course, I'm going to wet my brush. Kind of putting it in the middle. 
part of my eye because I think I might put that darker one that I was going to go into earlier. I might put that a little bit more on the outside and blend them like a little bit. So we'll see. So I'm kind of putting this mostly on like the middle of my eye. So now, yep, I'm going to go back into that other shade there into it. I didn't actually use it last time. And I'm going to kind of blend that line. Really not much, just a little bit, you know. Now for the inner part of my eye, I'm going to go into the Almost Nude palette and take some of that shimmery shadow right there. This is a really nice shimmer. This is like one of those shades. I just like will go into it just randomly because it's a really nice shimmer. It's honestly worth $1.25 on its own. See, look at that. Like if you just bought that palette for that shimmer, you would get your money's worth. <laughs> I usually don't do the inner corner, but... I kind of accidentally did it, so I might have to retouch it after we do concealer. Look at that. I'm going to bring it up here just a tad. Wow, that is so pretty. It's even prettier than I expected. And I'll just kind of do the same thing. and We'll revisit the inner corner later, but y'all look at that. That is so pretty. I don't know if I'm completely even, but look at that. Loving it. Absolutely loving it so far. So we're going to come back to the eyeshadow. But we're going to move on to liner, lashes, face, and then come back and finish off the eyes as we always do. So I'm going to do like just one coat of mascara because I am going to wear false lashes today. So this is the Beauty Benefits, um, or the Beauty, what do they call it? The Beauty Essentials. Um, I actually don't really have a readily available mascara from Dollar Tree because I would consider like LA Colors to be the most readily available and I just don't even bother buying their mascara anymore. I do have a, a blue one by them, but I don't feel that that's really readily available. So I'm just, I'm just putting this on my lashes. And like I said, I do see this from time to time, but it's probably not the most readily available, but you're not missing anything. It's nothing special. So I'm going to pop this on and I will be right back. Okay. So my mascara is on and now we're going to do liner and lashes. So I do seem to find this pretty readily available, um, but if not, uh, LA Colors makes a really good eyelash glue and they also make an eye marker that is really, really good. So either way, I'm just going to do like a liquid line and this just happens to be my glue as well. And these are some really like readily available lashes at the Dollar Tree. I probably see these more than I see anything. The LA Colors Dramata Lash and these are in the style Dreamy. I've already worn them before, so they're a little bit askew in there and I've also trimmed these. So like I said, they've got a couple other styles. Very read readily available lashes from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to just pop some of this liner on. And you have to, when you use this, if you're using this liner, you have to kind of be ready. You don't let it dry like you do um, regular lash glue, you know. Like I said, if you want a more, I will have it linked down below. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on how I apply my lashes, I did one recently using all Dollar Tree products and I give you two different methods. This is just one method. And then of course I use traditional eye, like eyelash glue and I show you like my tricks and tips and stuff. Cause there is, you know, there is a finesse to it, you know, and I've learned some things over the years that have made it easier for me. So, you know, when, so I'm passing those tricks on. These lashes are good too because they have, you know, like I said, like three or four different styles and they have some that are really super like natural. They've got some that are a little bit more dramatic. So then I have to see if I have them on there even or even-ish really because even like I'm not perfect at it. So there we go. Lashes are on and I'm going to come back to the eyes, put like, you know, and finish them up. But we're going to move on to face right now. So a readily available, this is not my favorite product in the world, but it is very readily available at Dollar Tree. And that is the LA Colors Liquid Makeup. This is the shade True Beige. I think they have a tan. Um, they've got a couple different shades. And it just happens to be the most regular thing. My favorite is the Glow Foundation from Be Pure. Be Pure also has an essentially ageless foundation. And there might be something else I'm missing um, off the top of my head. Sassy Chic or uh, Candy Moyo makes great um, BB creams and foundations. To me, they're interchangeable. They're like the same thing. And those are pretty readily available, but I think this is even more readily available. And I'm kind of wanting to use it up because it's not my favorite. 
beauty blenders or makeup sponges are readily available at the Dollar Tree too. I think this is a sassy chic one. There's other like brands. Um, and I think sometimes people don't like them from the Dollar Tree. They say they're hard. You have to wet these. If you don't know and you've been using them dry, you need to wet these. I was watching a talk show, like the Today Show or something, and the, the beauty blender lady, the lady that invented the beauty blender, said you need to wet them. They, they are designed to be wet, even the beauty blenders, so that they you have to wet them. That is like the, the, the secret. Um, so I'm just going to put some of this on and... Like I said, this is not my favorite, although I think maybe the, la the last time I used it, it wasn't as bad. I just, I don't know. There's just better stuff. I think the Candy Moyo products are great. Either the BB cream or the foundation doesn't really matter. I find them to be like the same, honestly. I don't notice a difference. But sometimes, you know, Candy Moyo, when they would change them from Sassy Chic or New Color to Candy Moyo, those products like disappeared for a while. Um, so for a minute, they weren't really readily avail available as they went to were. But this right here has been around since like the dawn of time. And they probably have a better color selection than most things. I don't know how many shades they have. Candy Moyo. Be Pure is the worst in their color selection. They pretty much have like two shades of any of their foundations. But Leaf's new color has a light, medium, and a dark. This has a couple different shades. Nothing, I mean, Dollar Tree still has a long way to go, but this isn't really as bad as I remember. They, you know, one thing about LA Colors, although they didn't reformulate their, like, just their regular concealer, I kind of felt the last time I tried this, they may have reformulated it a bit. It just seems to sink into my skin just a little bit better than it used to, and I don't know about the wear time, because I honestly do not wear this. It's a little kind of, not splotchy, but it's like, I don't know. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite, but it is readily available, and you will see you can get a look with it. <laughs> now, I'm going to use the other LA Colors Conceal and Correct. This is the peach, and I'm going to use this for under my eyes. Like I said, these are just kind of the best as far as concealers that you can easily find. Now, if you can find any of Be Pure's concealers, by all means, get those. But if this is all you can find at your Dollar Tree, these are, these are better than just the regular, like, beige or whatever regular shades of concealer LA Colors makes. I've also used the yellow under my eyes as well. See, really not too, too bad. These are like color correctors too, so they, they are designed to counteract. Peach really gets rid of like the darkness in the corner of my eyes, so yeah, really not bad. So now I'm going to put on some powder, and I use the LA Colors pressed powder a lot. I love it. It's like my, it's really like my favorite powder from the Dollar Tree, but I do tend to see these quite a bit. This is the Be Pure Essentially Ageless Blurring Pressed Powder. I just recently bought another one of these that's in like a translucent that I'll try in a testing new Dollar Tree makeup. I don't think I'd ever seen it before. I don't think. I've had one from Be Pure, like the um, green tea infused or whatever it was, but I've never had the Essentially Ageless. So this is, I don't know the shade name. I think they have two shades plus the translucent of this. So I'm just going to use a dry. This is like a blender sponge that's designed for powders that under my eyes. I like to kind of set my makeup this way, like on my, my T-zone forehead, and kind of in this area. And then I tend to take like a big fluffy brush and then just do it everywhere else. In some ways I like the shade uh, beige in the LA Colors Press Powder better than I like this shade. I don't know why I ran it down my neck, but I did. <laughs> so now I'm going to use a bronzer. And so I'm doing, I'm in the middle of doing um, a series where I show you my Dollar Tree makeup collection. I've done blushes. I've done bronzers. I'll have those linked down below. As I film this, I have highlighters filmed. I don't know if it's up yet. If it is, I'll just have it all down there for you, whichever ones I have. But um, so I've already done bronzers. So you may have seen this recently. This is the LA Colors bronzer in baked. They have two shades of these. I'm going to use this one today. They have recently, they've recently repackaged these and the blushes um, that they make that come in this type of a container. And if that's all you can find, if you can't find like all the fun Ioni stuff or, you know, the Be Pure blushes or the, you know, any of the LA Colors collections, these here really aren't bad. They're really pretty nice. You know, only thing you might have trouble with is the color, but as far as their quality and for me, their color works fine. This one here is probably co the cooler, slightly cooler one out of the two. So I had a Dollar Diva 
kind of recognize that I'm getting a little bit more tan. I am. My pool is open, and um, but I do wear sunscreen. I do wear sunscreen. Um, I do wear like a. Um, I have a hat by Mission, which is supposed to protect you from the UV light. Um, so I, I wear sunscreen on my face as well. But a little little sun does get through. It does get through, and so there we go. See, just a really nice tan. Really, these are not bad. If you can't find something else, these really, really aren't bad. So, like I said, the blushes, they've recently repackaged these. I've got like I've got like every shade when they were back in the white packaging. So they've kind of redone their packaging, like just changed the color of the the package. And they may have even changed the formula a bit. I don't really know. I always throw away these brushes. I don't ever need them. And I bought two out of the three new shades. This is the shade Creamsicle, and I have another shade. And then I skipped on one because it was just didn't really look like it would do anything for my skin. So even though this is a new shade, it's a readily available product. So I'm gonna use it in today's video. Again, these are really, really, really nice blushes. They kind of have a shade for every occasion, especially now adding three more. You really can't go wrong. That is stunningly pretty. They swatched really pretty, this shade and the other shade. It goes on very smooth. I have a tendency to go overboard if products are too pigmented. Where am I putting a little bit up here? It's really, look at how pretty that is, you guys. There's a t little tad bit of shimmer. That is gorgeous. Like seriously, don't sleep on these. Like I said, easy to find, several different shades and they've been like newly repackaged and probably even reformulated. So really, really nice. Then for highlighter, again, another LA Colors Conceal and Correct product. This is their white highlighter. So you've seen this probably a million times and maybe didn't think it was very good. And I mean, is it the best highlighter in the world? No, but it's gonna do the job, you know? <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of dot some right here and I'm just gonna take my Beauty Blender See that really nice effect. Now I do find you kind of want to, they set really quick, so you kind of want to rub them a little bit when you, if you do them like this, but look at that. Seriously, so, so nice. Like, again, readily available. I also like the LA Colors, you know, the, the highlighters they have in like the little thin black packaging. Those are fairly readily available as well, but I see this a whole lot, probably even a little bit more. So now we're gonna go back to the eyes and then we're gonna finish with the lips. So I've used the LA Colors Auto Liner the last several times I think I've done one of these videos. Um, I do wanna feature the Ioni Black Eye Pencil today just because it's so good um, and I just didn't wanna really mess around. The, the Auto Liner will get the job done from LA Colors. It's not the best. If you ever, this is a PSA, if you ever ever come across this black Ioni eye pencil. Buy them all, I'm telling you, because I have an Urban Decay 27 liner that came with a set that I got um, for my birthday one year. Like I had to get it to get something else. And so it's good. This is better. This is seriously, from the moment I, I first used this, is the best line eyeliner I've ever, ever used. It is so good. So now I'm gonna go back to my inner corner because I think I did get a little bit away, like kind of blot some away with my concealer. So I'm gonna go back into that shade right there and I'm gonna just really put that into my inner corner. Oh, that is so pretty. This palette, you guys, that shimmer there is really pretty too. I mean, these have come such a long way. Talk about a really, one of the best reformulations that LA Colors has ever done in my opinion. Those six pan palettes, I mean, this one in particular here. If you only buy one, buy this one. So, so pretty. Like, I, there, I, don't, I don't have words other than, oh my God. <laughs> now I might smoke out under my eye a little bit and I'm gonna just go with that shimmer right there. Cut off my brush real good, trying to make, to make a mess. Okay, eyes are done and we're gonna finish off with the lips. So I don't really see a lip liner very readily available, but I have this one here and I did want to use a lip liner today. This was from the LA Colors Nude Glam collection. Now I will see like randomly in my makeup area, they'll have some like leftover lip liners from collections and stuff. Um, like I said, there it, it doesn't seem to be like a staple item at the Dollar Tree, lip liners don't. I, 
I don't know why, but I did want to use one today, so. So my problem with like generally pencils that I bought from like LA Colors, it's not the quality, it's just not like the shades. I like, I like something that's kind of darker, and as you can see already, this one's not going to be like a lot darker than my lips, and it's just a personal preference. I do have like a chubby stick like pencil, you can use it as like a lip color or lip pencil. I use this lip pencil that's like in plum, and so I really like it paired with like my red lipstick. But, um, yeah, so for me, like, lip liners aren't really a, a star anyway at the Dollar Tree. But, you know, it is what it is, you know. And that's just a personal preference. So for lip color today, you see these all the time. These are the LA Colors Lip Duos. And this is in the shade Twinkle. I think I'm just going to do the lip gloss. It's just kind of a clear, just, it's got like a little hint of sparkle. LA Colors makes really great lip glosses. I like their moisturizing ones that you see all the time. Those have been repackaged recently. They have several different shades. I have like all of them, especially in like the older packaging. These have like a very distinct taste and smell and they remind me of something. Circus peanuts. I may figure that out at one point. Wait now, when you, you know, I really like this lip gloss paired with this lip liner. That's why I like to go back and revisit makeup because as I change, so do some of my opinions, you know what I mean? So you just never know, you know? So yeah, I'm very, very pleased with this look. It actually came out like way better than I thought. And it's just, I feel it's proof. I feel like I could, this is what, a, if I use all high-end makeup, that this is what it would look like. I do want to like compare high-end makeup with Dollar Tree, like do a side-by-side. -side. The problem with that is, is I'm going to have to buy like a high-end concealer foundation. Let's see, I have high-end blush. I've got eyeshadow. I'd have to buy a high-end eyebrow pencil. I'd have to buy high-end lashes. I'd have to buy a high-end. I've got some pr lip products, I think. I'd have to buy some high-end stuff. And honestly, if I do it, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna buy it all at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls because, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm the dollar diva, you know what I'm saying? But um, anyways, I would like to do that sometime. But I don't feel you could get a better look with high-end makeup. I just really, really, really don't. That's just my personal opinion. <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video using readily available makeup products from the Dollar Tree and fairly readily available makeup products from the Dollar Tree. Definitely check out my other content. Definitely if you liked this video, show me you did by hitting the like button. Definitely always comment. I love talking to you guys. Um, let me know how you feel about these products and um, if there are things that, let me know what you see all the time at your Dollar Tree, even if it's not something that someone else sees all the time. Let me know. I love seeing, I love getting insight into what your Dollar Trees are like. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.